wheelchair basketball. Germany lead Australia by 26 points to 19. They've outscored the gold medal favourites 14-10 and 12-9 in the two quarters so far. Alongside me is Nate Williams and Nate, the best stats tell the story. Germany have finished off more of their chances and Australia have not really produced the sort of offence that have been looking for so far. Yeah, Germany were, were very shaky in the start, to be honest, but they, they were clinical. They got through the pressure from the Australian defence at the halfway and they've, uh, and they've just played really good team basketball. That's what's made the difference here. A fantastic crowd inside the North Greenwich Arena already this evening. They've watched Holland take the bronze medal, the United States of America, who came into this Paralympic Games as back-to-back -back gold medalists, will go home with just memories from London 2012. They were comprehensively beaten by the Dutch, and that was a real surprise because we thought it was going to be nip and tuck all the way, but they were simply demolished by the Dutch. Yeah, the, the Americans, they had a very nitty-gritty semi-final against the Germans, lo losing out by just a point. So I expected a bit more from the Americans, a bit more picks, a bit more screens for the outside shot for Rebecca Murray, who practically ran the game on her own, which was uh, unfortunate for her. But the Dutch, Inga, Inga Gutmann, um, Inga Gutmann, yeah, fantastic player, had a, had a great shooting game, and the big three, Gutmann, uh, Oosterman, and Oosterman, uh, Corbett, yeah. Oosterman, Corbett, they, they, had, they had a fantastic game together, moving the ball around, taking the shots one by one, knocking them down, and that's what killed the Americans, plus the pressure, the fantastic pressure in the first half, Sim similar to the Australians, who we'll hear from now. John Triscari, their coach, just giving a few final words of advice to his team before the third quarter. Well, he's been constantly telling his team to let the ball do the work. And if they pass the ball, the opportunities will come, but there's been too much single ball carrying so far for the Australians without the support. And the Germans have had that. Number eight there, Anika Zayan. She buzzes around the key and makes the space for others and also picks up those pick and rolls. Marina Moen, their captain, one of three pairs, has scored eight points in the first half. And she's one of the players with the greater reach. Illustrated by those eight rebounds she picked up as well. Yeah, Anika Zayn has been fantastic. Moving around all sides of the court, trying to get those gaps, moving the ball around, just like a good point guard do. Here's Zayn. The Germans in the black vests in the second half, playing from right to left. And the gold medal is the prize, and Sherman scores her first points of the evening. And it's a nine-point lead for Germany. And Sherman and Monen, the two players with great wingspan, when they're both on the court at the same time, it's very difficult for the opposition to impose their game on either of them. And they combine here, two players who took up wheelchair basketball after that. Careers in the able-bodied version of the sport were ended by serious knee injuries. Here's Zayn. And that's a great play inside for Valen. And Whoa. it's four unanswered points for Germany Flips at the start the of the quarter. Flips the shot from almost touching the floor. Up off the glass. Great shot from Valen. Gauchi for Australia. Not underneath, unopposed, but she doesn't score. And that's been the story for Australia so far. So many opportunities inside the paint have not been converted. Valen has it stripped. Here's Keane. The Australian captain has been quiet so far.
And now Stewart. Finding Gauchi again. The shot clock will expire here. Great pressure from the Germans. They're giving the Australians a taste of their own medicine. They, the Australians, they like to defend high and wide. They're doing exactly the same thing, and they don't like it. They can't, they can't find a way through. 11 points is a big lead at this stage of the game. Valen forgets to take the ball with her there. And she may pay a heavy price. Here's Stewart. Driven wide by Breuer and Monan. But she goes for the basket and wow. scores superbly. Wow, what a shot. And that really is two points again to the head because Germany were moving forward there. And it was the handling error which led to two points for Australia. Valen. Drawing the foul from Keane. And she will go to the free throw line. For only the second time in the game. And Germany have scored both of theirs so far. In contrast, Australia won from six. But that perfect record comes to an end. And then misses both, and Keane comes up with the rebound. Monan just applying the pressure. Both teams looking for their first Paralympic gold medal in women's wheelchair basketball. Doesn't drop for Keane, it may be the second time of asking, no. These misses from Sheck and Chance points are absolutely vital for the Australians, and they're just not converting. Down to 30% now, their field goal conversion. Zayn not fast enough to get to the basket, she'll reset. Germany 45%, 14 from 31. Australia 10 from 33. Zayn. Overhand pass, but the shot clock expires. It won't count from Schoenman. And there's plenty of nerves out there still after half time in front of such a big crowd here inside the North Greenwich Arena. And we can hear the Australian support. They probably outnumber the Germans, but the Germans are outscoring them on the court at the moment. Amber Merritt coming into the game. Yeah, Amber Merritt coming back into the game. She was very good early on. Solid shooter from outside and underneath the basket. Her boyfriend, Sean Norris, in the men's gold medal game tomorrow. Not. Gauchi. And that's good play. Chaplin converts, and that's a rare repeat of offensive efficiency from Australia in this third quarter so far. Yeah, they, they like their screens early on. And Katie Hill with a perfect screen again, like she did in the first half, allowing Sarah Chaplin to sink the two. And that's loose from Germany again, and Chaplin, as the whistle goes, it was stolen there by Katie Hill. And it was uh, Marina Monin who gave the ball away, and she is then the player who commits the personal foul. Just blocking off Hill. Smart foul from Monan there, she saw the pass to hit uh, Chaplin down low. Here's Chaplin again. Gauchi underneath, and she just runs the ball out of play there. I think the Australians get the ball back there. Valen and her teammates not happy. And Valen's been pulled up for the personal foul there. Strange call from the ref. Uh, Gauchi's wheels were clearly over the line, but called for a push instead. Gauchi looking to capitalise. Four points apiece in the third quarter. Merritt. Tournament gathers and then tumbles. Ooh, 
Ooh, she looks to have hurt herself there. She'll be fine. And Claire Knott with her third personal foul. Sherman going long. Monan. And that long pass gives them more time around the attacking arc now. Zayn. Great work from Valen, forcing the defence low and then turning out for the screen for Zayn, who has had the hot hand, sinking those shots, but unlucky that time. The three top scorers in the game so far are all German. Monan, Adamant and Zayn all on eight points. Sherman. Oh, she takes another heavy tumble. Goucher this time. But I think Sherman was almost losing the ball as well as she was going down. Yeah. Um, Sherman, great speed there. That's what uh, the, that's why the foul was drawn. Gauchi not able to catch up with her and get in front of her, her chair. Gauchi charged with her second personal foul. She needed to keep pushing there to get in front, but couldn't that time. And Sherman takes a rest, replaced by Adamant. Four points apiece. And we're over halfway through this quarter. Adamant is there again. Gets she scores on the buzzer. buzzer. Wow. She's the first player to double figures in this gold medal game. Lovely stroke from Adamant. And that ends a two-minute spell without a point from either side. Three-pointer. Yes! Wow. Kylie Gauchi off the glass. And maybe that's what Australia need to get them going. An excellent reply. M morale boosting for the Australians maybe now. They're pressuring at half court. They want that ball back. Adamant. Good chair skills to twist and turn away from Merritt. Valen. Monan. She turns and sets, but doesn't score. And it's nipped out of Gauchi's hand by Adamant, but recovered well. Merritt has to scramble. Almost an Australian rule style hand pass there to Chaplin. And it's all very scrappy. And Chaplin turning the ball over. Kobe Crispin back in the game. Merritt's not quite had the impact maybe she was hoping for in the third quarter. Oh, she's had a very successful tournament, averaging double figures, but she couldn't quite get going in this game. Takes a seat, has a breather. Adaman. And it's very messy. Under both hoops at the moment, <laughs> and Zayn takes out Gauchi there like a wheelchair rugby player. North Greenwich Arena crowd boos all round. Unsportsmanlike foul. Yeah, she knew she was coming, turned into a centre flying. Unnecessary foul. So, uncontested free throws here. And Australia will get the ball back. So, potentially, four or five points here. But it won't be now. No, but they'll have a chance to get two of those points on the offence when they get the ball back from the sideline. Oh, she misses short again. Hopefully they can come up uh, with something on the offence this time, the Aussies. Gauchi, the top scorer now for Australia, following that earlier three-pointer. Seven points for her. 
And we now have multiple interchanges from both teams. Breuer and Valen for Germany. Muller is one of the players who's come back into the game, along with Bryceman. Six-point game in what's been a very tight third quarter. Chaplin. Almost shows too much of that to Zayn. Not. Crispin inside. Misses again. Oh, 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 this is killing Australia. Come on, get it in off that top window. Adaman. More than gathers as Zayn goes flying this time. Great patience from Knott on that last play, but she had a tight screen. She could have took it herself, but she doesn't seem confident with that shot. She'd rather wait for the better option. Zayn had lost that ball. And then she lost her wheels as well, colliding with Katie Hill. Muller clatters into Crispin. Shot clock about to expire. Monan, not in time. And yet again, two minutes without a point from either side, that three-pointer. Australia have a slight advantage here, picking back number 13. Gauchi. Monan with the defensive rebound. And this looks like being a very low scoring final now. Zayn. Adaman. There's no screen for Monan. And the scoreless streak now approaches three minutes and will continue because Hill misses. Those are very important points. Take your time. Zayn. Just a bit of nerves kicking in for Australia. Look at that field goal percentage. Not great for either side at this stage. And it's become a match of a very attritional nature now. Into the final minute, it looks like neither will hit double figures in this quarter. Not. That's more like it from Not. Very confident shot. Takes the shot this time. Adaman. Zayn. Bumping and barging going on all over the court at the moment. Great defence from Katie Hill. Adamant, wing to wing. And as Monan gathers, we have a moment of silence as the whistle goes. And Monan drawing the foul from Crispin. Australia having to defend now as Germany try and wind down the clock to not give them the opportunity. Adaman! Adaman again! This time she scores! Second chance point. Lovely high arcing pass from Zayn. Struggled to get it off because of the pressure. End of the third quarter. Germany retain their lead. And Australia weren't able to make huge inroads into it, only knocking a point off it from the situation we had at half-time. And Germany are one quarter away from their first Paralympic gold medal in women's wheelchair basketball. They lead 
34-28. And big moments here for Holger Glenicki, their coach. Neither side making double figures in that quarter, and that just shows the quality of the defence, but also the rather mediocre nature of the attacking in that quarter. Yeah. Uh, the Australians, they, they, they've brought on a key player, Kate Hill. She's had great defence picking back, but they, they just can't find those gaps. They just, just can't find those gaps. They might have to look to a screen to, for a shot off the window. Zayn, Zayn might get going again. Lovely high hocking pass into Adaman last time around, but couldn't convert. It's all about taking those chances in the paint for both teams. Australia 12 for 40 in their overall two point conversion. That's 30%. Germany 16 for 38, 42%. And we did see one three-pointer from Gauchi for Australia in that quarter. But the free throws for Australia, one for eight so far. And at a six-point game, yeah, that's massive. It's story of the game. You've got to make those shots from the line if they're gifted to you by poor discipline in the German defence. Every shot counts. Final quarter of the gold medal game is underway. Chaplin. Gauchi. Great start from Australia. Gauchi hits one off the window. Four point game. Nice touch off the glass. Monan going long. Giving them more time inside the Australian half. Adaman. But it's good. Press again from Australia. Adam and takes it the long way around, and inside is Muller. And that's the sort of play we've, we've seen from Muller throughout this tournament. She executes those pick and rolls so well. Chaplin into the paint, into the basket. Chaplin hits back, very confident shot. Could have waited for the inside, but. Very confident stroke. Zayn. Great Going all drive. the way herself. That's fantastic. Fantastic drive from Zayn. Just spins and sees the gap, sees the angle to the basket. She moves into double figures now. Adam and the top scorer on the German side with 12. Gauchi for the Australians on nine. Crispin. Six point game now. Hill. It's got to be soon. Just couldn't find the option. They tried to screen on either side, but Zayn got round to it. Pressure Kate Hill couldn't get the shot off. Same on the other side for Crispin. And the ball's turned over. That's a Lovely great play. pass. And it bobbles around but drops in the end for Muller. Slight of hand there from Zayn, making the opportunity. And those two guards work extremely well in tandem. Gauchi. Crispin. Gauchi again gets the shot away, but the Germans recover. And it's Zayn. And they're beginning to get their speed merchants working in the Australian half now. But Adaman sees it stolen. Chaplin urged on by the Australian crowd. Gauchi, yes! Yes! Pulling it back now, these Australians are working the fast break offense very well. Talking to each other, communicating. 
They know exactly where each other is on the floor. Much better from the Australians. 6-6 six, six in the final quarter. A six-point lead for Germany. Muller, it's eight points. Easy shot again for Muller. They've got a sprint back on defence. Yes, that was a morale-boosting shot from Gauchi, but they have to push back. They have to keep going. Pedal to the medal. But the game really opening up now in the final quarter. Gauchi! Again, Gauchi! Six points, and we've had more points in this quarter in the opening three and a half minutes than we did in the previous ten minutes. Oh, but that's poor. Zayun. Twelve points for her now. Katie Hill not happy with her teammate. She was all on her own there. And a timeout called by Australia. And they're matching each other point for point now. Eight-point lead for the Germans. Holger Glinicki will know his team are so close to the gold medal now. We can see Gesha Sherman in the background there. I wonder if she's got a problem. She's only been on the court for 15 minutes in the game so far. Yeah, well, I, I saw her ice her arm up in an earlier game. She took a few hits to the deck, icing her wrist. Something's not right. And if it's a shooting hand, which I think it is, I think that's uh, game over for Dana Schumann. And she's one for five from field goal opportunities. But you think most of the other players now have been on the court for well over half an hour. And she's barely made 15 minutes. And Gauchi has been heavily involved for the Australians. Their top scorer with 13 points. Top scorer overall in the game now. Plenty of time for the Australians to overhaul this eight point deficit. It drops. Adaman. Every time the Australians have scored so far very quickly, the Germans have responded in this quarter. Adaman. She was the screen, but she scores. Eight point game again. Australia need to stem the flow of points at the other end. Gauchi. Hill. And Gauchi does a good job there. Good job of stopping Monan from picking up the defensive rebound. Chaplin. Five minutes to go. Gauchi into traffic. Crispin. Chaplin. Everything seems to be dropping now for the Australians. Gauchi set the pace. Chaplin follows suit. Just getting the right roll of the ball. But Germany still have their six-point lead, as they did at the start of the final quarter. 12 points each so far. Monan, the whistle goes, and the basket won't count. And apart from a run of four unanswered German points, every basket so far has been answered by the opposition within a few seconds in this quarter. Monan! And the Germans do it again. And eight points is a big lead with just over four minutes to play. Bullet pass, lovely. Crispin again underneath. She doesn't seem to be hitting a lot of them, which is vital to the Aussies. Crispin, she three for 11 so far. Yeah. 
Gauci is there, play with the hot hand. Six for 13. Muller, 10 point lead. Germany closing in on the gold medal. Muller goes through undetected, not picked up by the Australians. Another fast break point for Muller. She's certainly made an impact keeping the Germans ahead. And Australia have the timeout. Holger Glenicki always oh, seems to be a bundle of nerves, but he knows his team are so close now. They played a superb final quarter. They scored 16 points already. That was just a morale boosting timeout from Coach Suzuki. He just wants them to focus, concentrate, take the time. He says three minutes 50 may not seem much, but it's all the time in the world they need. They can hit back at them, go full pace, and claw back at this lead. Both teams have piled on the points in the final quarter relative to earlier on in the game. But Australia need a streak here. Crispin driving into traffic. Hill. Charge called. Second foul for Crispin. Looking to draw the foul but being penalised herself. Adamant. The Australians going two for two at the back. Zayn. Monan. Adaman, 12 wow. point lead. Drains the baseline shot, Adaman. Very good game in this fourth quarter for her. And they're just doing what they have to do here. Gauchi, that will drop for her as well. 17 points for the top scorer in the game. But at the moment, it will only be good enough for a silver medal. Germany have got Australia where they want them. Germany going back to that high pressure. Zayn. And now Monan draining the shot clock as well. And Crispin recovers, but she was lifting in the chair. Yeah. You can't Crisp move forward out of the chair with your own momentum, with your own force. Crispin can't believe it. It's not her day. Referee ruled that. She came out of her chair, off her seat, and ball was turned over. And Crispin's now off the court, replaced by Amber Merritt. Monan. They've just got to play smart ball now, Germany. Dillman and Zayn. The Australian down is Shelley Chaplin. And you get the feeling Germany have done enough here. Yeah, two minutes to go, ten points. Never rule it out. Amazing things happen in the fourth quarter of basketball. But Australia don't look like a side capable no. of a 10-point streak. That's the point. Here's Adamant, and it's getting worse for them. Yeah, just extending that lead. Good pick by Muller, up high, creating the driving lane. Germany, the only unbeaten side. 
They feel they deserve a gold medal after that impressive streak. And the foul's drawn by Amber Merritt. Marina Monan's third foul, but it may not be relevant now. Australia lost to Canada in their group phase. The only blot on the record before today. Galchi. And there's no Australia to pick the ball up. Adamant's fourth defensive rebound. And we're at that stage of the game now where the Australians will foul to just try and break the game up and stop the clock. Yeah, try and claw that point, send Germany to the foul line, hoping that they miss and can get on the other tap with 1 minute 37. It's not a lot of time, but hopefully they can stop the clock as early as they can. Adam Earn. So, it's going to be all change on the podium compared to Beijing four years ago. And Germany are going to be on top for the first time. Chaplin drawing the foul from Muller. Very clever since of Australia's record from the line tonight. As you can see. It's been shocking. One from nine. And now one from ten. Double figure misses. And they're also, overall, 37% for two-point conversions. 19 from 51. And now we're seeing Germany. They'll pick up plenty of free throws between now and the end of the game as Australia just try and stop the clock all the time. But it's high risk because, at the same time, they could lose this game very heavily. Yeah, you, you feel that Germany could close out the game from the line now if they convert their chances. Adamant, 19 points for her. Timeout called by Australia. And I think Holger Glenicki knows the gold medal is in the bag. We were hoping for high drama here, or we anticipated high drama, but in the two medal games tonight, the European sides are coming through very, very comfortably. Yeah, very, very strong European super forces tonight. Dutch did a fantastic job on the USA. But now Germans are just finishing off this game point by point. Anika Zayn in the middle there, she's had a fantastic so tournament, so is Monan. Muller came on and made a short impact. And let's not forget Adaman, stroking them in from range. And their big game players have all had big games in stark contrast to the Australians. 19 points for Adaman and a handful of assists been very spread across the board. Great team basketball from the Germans. <laughs> Chaplin and Gauchi. Three-point territory now, beyond three-point territory, to be honest. Merritt. Foul by Zayn. Adamant, top scorer for the Germans, top assists, also contributed a number of rebounds. And Kylie Gauchi, the only Australian player in double figures. A 
and Merritt yet to score a point. And she misses the hoop entirely. And Germany call a timeout, 1.13 to play. And look at the faces there in the background, they already know. Yeah, they're very happy. Coach Glick, Glick he wants to maintain to the last minute. Offensive pressure, defensive pressure, but look at this, day. he finally breaks a smile. He knows that his team have done enough. It's going to be a comfortable win in the end. And they'll have outscored Australia in three of the four quarters. And it's hard on Kylie Gauchi. She's played well. Yeah, she's done most of the scoring. Fantastic stroke from outside, particularly that awesome three-pointer off the glass to morale boost it. Morale boost her team into the second half. But the Australians just come up short here. Well played from the Germans. Monan. And they go to the line again. And that's what will happen now. Germans already celebrating on the sidelines. And the only unbeaten team here are going to take home the gold medal. And they put together a very impressive series of results. And it's ironic, really, their knockout games, Great Britain, Netherlands and Australia and the game with the biggest margin of victory is going to be in the final yeah they've learned game by game what they need to do Merritt misses again not finally Australia sink a second chance point another story this game getting rebounds but not converting the second chance their first point for nearly two minutes and they've had long spells in the game where they've not been able to get any points on the board at all sees some of the German baskets throughout the game. And we often see these games get rather fractured in the end as we have continual visits to the free throw line. The Germany here. Going to usher in a new order in women's wheelchair basketball. The silver medalists from Beijing and the most recent world championships. And they're a team that does have youth as well. Annabelle Breuer, 19. Maya Lindholm, who's not featured yet tonight, only 21. Marika Adaman, 22. Alongside the more experienced players. <laughs> the 
So the major powers in women's wheelchair basketball as Germany go to the line yet again. The USA and Australia will not be going home for the gold medal. And Germany have been around, of course, they, they were runners up, but they didn't come into this tournament as huge favourites to do anything, did they, really? No, like you said, very young players that have just come into this tournament, made an impact, double figures for Adaman. Very impressive performance from her. The German free for average here, average here is taking a, a hit, but they don't really care. But that one's nailed by Schoenman. Gucci for three. No, and she will foul. And Muller will go to the line. And it's a shame in many ways such a big game ends up petering out like this. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to um, be behind by giving away layups, giving away easy shots. And you equally have easy shots, but you don't make them. They don't drop. And now you, you're down and you're forcing fouls and you're just watching your opponents sink points from the line to close out the game. Yeah, they're disappearing over the hill here, Germany. They've scored 23 points in this final quarter. Gauchi. Lovely pass from Gauchi. And another layup missed. Chaplin unable to finish. Schoenman goes tumbling. The mentality of the Australians must have been um, very rattled before they came into this game because a layup, layup, I haven't even seen a layup being hit. I'll, I'll be honest, I haven't seen a layup been hit from the Australians, and that's very surprising. Well, they came through such a dramatic game in the semi finals, maybe it took too much out of them when they beat the USA 40 39. And maybe took too much out of both teams because they both lost in the medal games. <laughs> Fourteen point lead, and it's a comprehensive victory. A stroll through to the gold medal. Not three pointer short. And we've got three <laughs> seconds left. Zayn just come flying into Schumann to congratulate her. <laughs> Handshakes already for Holger Glinicki. He must be delighted. He's worked very well with this team. An authoritarian figure, but it's worked. The Germans have made history. First medal for them. Upset the Australians who get another silver medal. Fantastic performance. Germany take the Paralympic gold medal in women's wheelchair basketball for the first time in their history. After the disappointment of silver in Beijing four years ago, this time, the one unbeaten team at London 2012 take the greatest prize. Tears for Kobe Crispin, the Australian. Tears of joy for Marina Mohan, the German captain.